Hi friends. Um, I've perhaps bitten off more than I can chew. So I'm going to need y'all just, what is this? I'm going to need y'all just to uh, either help me stay calm or really, you know what, and help me remember the things or just say, you know what, you know what, babe, that's enough. That's enough for tonight. You can just leave off the stuff. You can just tell us tomorrow <laughs> and I won't be offended. The Turquoise Iris and Nissa Nat are teaching a class. Uh, at Reclaim Warehouse where Dion teaches those. The two of those ladies who are my favorite um, artists of the furnitures and the canvases this Saturday in Oklahoma City where my family's from, Norman. Go Sooners, just saying. Boomer. Um, so what's the, the deal is, hi Ms. Dion. I, thank you Dion. <laughs> I forgot. I was, I'm thinking I need to be, I need to be concise up in here because I have things to say and do. Um, so, uh, maybe none of you care, but I am blessed to get to go to that class. So, I already know about 8,000 people that I'm getting, looking forward to meeting there. In addition to getting to see my friend Dion again and meeting Anissa in person so I can hug her hard. Yes, Kimberly, I am. What's this? I don't know. I can't tell you guys. I'm trying to stretch out. I'm old. I don't know. There were some places on the veneer that were... Uh, you know, that were kind of broken off. And then what I did, I always kind of make sure, I kind of pry them and go, hmm, nope, those are on there good. I'm gonna leave that and I'll just sand it a little and then just work with it and use it for the for the decrepit. I was checking, I was like, I feel like this is, aw. And short story long, it was it was a little bit loose. They were kind of coming, coming off. And so I thought, well, crap, I'll just go ahead and peel it off now. So I was for a time going to uh, gl glue them back on and get the paint and put and glue the thing like that. And I was like, that's dumb. Just paint it. So I'm going to paint it, but I wanted to fill it in a little bit because it's a little bit, hmm, a little janky. So I've been taking my, my DIY clay paint and using it as a filler, which you can do. It's not, not in place of like a putty, but it has so much texture to it if you just lay it on thick, like with a putty knife. So this is, I wish you could feel it. Can you feel this? Married a uh, year, two years, doesn't matter. We were living in Minnesota where he got his first like Man, assistant manager type job. We moved from Southwest Missouri up there to Minnesota. Babies were four months old and 16 months old. That's right. I'm a martyr. I'm an absolute martyr. Um, so I was there all day with the babies and I, and I wanted to be, but I also wanted to help make money. But I also was like two babies, daycare, not going to be worth, worth it. So, I mean, I was a stay-at-home mom for like 17 years, but I did do odd jobs. I worked, taught piano lessons and, and uh, some neighbors across the street, a couple, as a couple, no kids, and we just happened to run into each other on the street. I was walking the kids, you know, in the stroller, the double stroller thing, and they said, you know, they have a paper out. They're like, oh my gosh, it takes this four to six, four a.m. to six a.m. We're done. We make five hundred bucks a month, which okay, this is in uh, not uh, to uh, when was Blake born? Ninety five, ninety six, ninety seven, no ninety two, ninety three. This is nineteen ninety three, so uh, that would that would help a lot. I was like, oh my gosh, if I could make five hundred dollars a month. I could do that. So I told honey, I told honey, I told Mike that um, I could go, I could do that. Like, that's not hard. I can do the papers um, and I can be back by 6 a.m. when you leave for work because he had to leave at 6 to drive into, to, into St. Paul to be there at 7 to help open the store and all the, all the crap. So um, I thought, I can do that. I can do that for a while. I can do what I need to do to make $500. Oh my gosh. And still stay home with the kids. You had to go there, and you had to, they were, they were delivered, they were flat, right? You have to roll them up, put the rubber band around them, load them in the car, put the circulars in the thing, roll it up, put the rubber band, put them in the car, hundreds of them. So they said, well, you need to be here when the papers get here. That's about 3 a.m. So now we're at 3 a.m. Okay, I got two babies. So I'm rolling them, I put them in the car. And then I had to drive out to deliver them. Okay, well, you couldn't throw them. You had to put them on the porch. Still, I'm like, 500 bucks, baby. I'll do anything for five. Newsies, thank you. Uh, so, but it was, okay, so I had to leave. I left. I was trying to leave by like 3.30, leave the, the warehouse. Because they were like, you have to be done by, I think you had till 8 a.m. I was like, <laughs> that's cute. My husband leaves at 6 a.m. Got two babies. Can't leave them alone. Can't afford to pay anybody. I got to be done and back home by 6 a.m. So, I was in an all-fire hurry, but that's hard to imagine. Hi, Lori. I did it for three weeks. Um, but here's the thing. So, I was getting up. 
I had to be at the warehouse at 3 a.m., so I had to get up at 2 a.m. Babies. Have I mentioned the babies? <laughs> so, so, and then I'd run home and, you know, meet my husband in the hallway. Hey, honey, okay, no, I'll be fine. I'm going to die. It's fine. <gasps> and he would leave at 6 a.m. and be gone until that night about 7 or 8. So then I had like 13 hours with the two babies. Um, and I had gotten, you know, a few hours of sleep. So, that didn't last very long, and it was a bummer, but I was like, it's not worth it. It's not worth it. I, I went from going, uh, you know, I'll do anything for that money, to going, I ain't doing it. We'll just, we won't eat. I don't care. We're not going to eat. I don't care. So, um, but here's the funny part that I, <laughs> so Dion would say, there's so many similar things. She lasted six weeks. I remember going, how soon can I give my notice? If I, get, I gave my notice like that day, like three days later or something like I'm going to give my two weeks notice. I'm going to work my two weeks. So I guess I did it a week and then went, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. So I worked a week, gave my two weeks notice, worked two more weeks. Because I would have done, you can't. Sleep deprivation is a real thing. Because Blake was a very early riser. Okay. He always was like wide awake at 5 a.m. Um, so Blake would already be awake. So that I would be. Um, so what we would do is uh, turn on the Barney uh, and uh, lay on the couch. He would sit on the floor you know, to play with toys or whatever. And so I could quit looking at the comments so I can focus. If I tell a story with my eyes shut, is that really weird? It's really weird. Um, should I move around to make it a little more, to break up the monotony? Here we go. Oh, I, I was on the couch with the Blake and the Haley. Had gotten up by then, whatever. So we were watching the Barneys and the Blues Clues and whatever I could find that was like, hey, they're learning stuff. Okay, this is good stuff with the Pop-Tarts. And I was dozing on the couch. Um, I went to sleep a little harder, apparently, because I hear the doorbell ring. I go down. It's the neighbor. Kids are gone. Kids are gone. Uh, it's a neighbor, and she's saying, um, Hi, I know that I, I, I would never do this. You're always with your children. I, I know that you are, and you never let them out of your sight, but I had to tell. They're down the street on the swing set. Okay, they had gotten, the front door was locked. Blake had figured out, two babies, two diapers, Blake and Haley, T toddlers. So here's the thing, because they could walk. I know Haley could walk. Um, we had a sliding glass door onto a little bitty deck, and uh, it's just that little switch, that little flick thing, real cheap thing, at least ours was. You just flick it. So Blake had evidently done that. They had gone out the sliding glass door, down a, the deck stairs, could have plunged to their death, and gone down three, street, three um, houses to a neighbor that had a swing set that they loved. They were swinging on it. It's like 6.30 a.m. Blake and Haley swinging on the swing set. The neighbors, the, the friend's house that it was, was asleep. They, they slept in. Her kids slept in until like 8 a.m. So I was like, meh. I, I remember very clearly going, guys, we, we, don't, we don't swing at 6 a.m. We go, no, we stay in the house. Oh, my God. So, of course, I picked up Haley and took him back. Yes, they did. They walked down the street. They went, um, I do remember calling my husband and he was very angry. And I was like, dude, up since two, trying to help make money. Called my mother-in-law and she laughed. I said, well, your, your son's mad at me. And she said, and he said, you know what could have happened? They could have been hit by a car. They could, I know. And she said, but it didn't. But it didn't. She's got this beautiful, huge smile like they do. Um... I said, yeah, it didn't. God takes care of them. In their diapers, Minnesota, not cold. It was the summer. Because I don't remember worrying about them being cold at all. So, but the other funny thing was, Dion mentioned something about her car. Because it made me think of, the other funny thing was, because I got used to driving with the driver's door open. Went to back out, left the door wide open. And I'm on the left side of the garage. So there's about this much clear space. And the door was open. Crunch. Crunched it. I'm like, ah, I backed out with the door wide open. You can't do that. You can't do that. So I had to tell my husband, but honey, this, but don't you see why? It's not like, oh, I just leave my door open. Who remembers to shut the door? It's because I got used to it. I was driving every morning for the two hours in the street with the door open. So you see why I was like, oh my gosh, I can't believe Dion delivered papers. Because I did too, and it was crazy town. For my latest YouTube video. So, um, I got to do this as part of a collaboration on YouTube with some of the most amazing channels, people. Uh, the Turquoise Iris. Hello. Jamie Ray Vintage. Hello again. Uh, W's Design Diary. Who, who owns the paint company? 
Um, and then uh, wonderful friends also, but I think those are the biggest ones. So I'm just trying to, um, if I mention them, then I'll leave out one person, then I'll feel like crap. So uh, this is an actual love letter that my husband wrote me when we were in college and he was just my boyfriend. I have a whole stack of them. And I just got this, God gave it to me because it's a brilliant idea. <laughs> I don't usually think of those. So I showed the people the video on the video how, you know, most of you probably know how to do that. But Mod Podge, one of them on there. I put some dark and decrepit, let it dry, sanded it smooth. So it's got like wrinkles, but they're smooth. Right? And I just used uh, our, my DIY paint, clay paint for the things. That's petticoat pink. And, and then this is just um, texture. It's just this spackle, lightweight spackle. Actually, I've always used that spackle just for um, raised textures. So I did that, but also I did this one just by, I decided to call it the cookie cutter finish. I just spread some spackle on there and just cut it out like it was dough. That's easy, so that's 3D and it was took like three seconds. And this is cardboard, cardboard. You just put Durham's rock hard putty, that's it. Uh, this is a piece of cardboard. I got to think, you could put anything on a canvas or anything. You could put any substance on anything, stick it on there with whatever substance and make amazing things. It's so easy. Oh my gosh, yes, Tess. Debbie's story is an ugly cry. I actually, I guess as a Christian, I found it very, it's very sad, but I was very uplifted by the, because I thought when she started, I thought, oh, and he died in a haze of drugs and alcohol you know, believing no one loved him and lonely and alone. You know what I mean? And it's got such a great, he didn't though. You know, she was able to share with him the things and ugh. So it made me kind of happy that, you know, but it's very sad. The other ones are love stories. Um, so anyway, I would love for y'all to watch it. I don't have a link right here. Hi Beth. It's, um, hi J-Po. Oh yeah, I knew you were on here. It's, um, YouTube basically.com slash she paints I think I always, I always put a C first it's for channel slash C slash she paints I think that's the link they gave me so I've been afraid to tell people anything else I don't know um, there's a playlist that's, that's uh, linked to all of them you guys so if you watch any of those you'll find the playlist linked in there so you can see all nine of them there are nine nine stories nine love stories nine amazing DIYs projects to do. Oh, thank you, Dion. Well, I wasn't sure. <laughs> yeah, you should watch mine and Dion's. Shh, who else is on here? I'm just kidding. Um, yeah, and I found some really cool music. I just got lucky. I'm thankful. What other kind of job do I get to, like, make videos and paint amazing furniture and paint canvases and sell it? Hi, Beatrice. I know. I'm here. I'm there on all the things, trying to be Look at this. Now, is this very um, professional or what's the word when it uh, makes sense for time-wise? Efficient. Is this efficient? No, but I kind of love it. <laughs> and again, can you see the texture of that? Probably not. You'll have to trust me. So I'm using this Farm Fresh to fill in. I did sand it a little bit too, the first coat, to make it a little smoother. But I'm going to make this so pretty that whoever buys it, they won't care like, hey, is this a little bit inset? It's an inset. We're going to make it an inset. Yeah. Fake it till you make it, people. Fake it till you make it. So I'm just uh, going to fill this in. Sort of fill it in. And then uh, when this dries, I'll probably spray it a little bit to, to reactivate it and add a little bit of bluer stuff in here and some mint chip because I know I used that initially for this finish. So that's what I'm doing. Look at that. It's just, it's just delicious. Date. Those of you that were watching all my videos with the big cabinet with the big boho chippy finish that was in this corner, I would like you to notice, dun, 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 it's not there. You know why? Because it's in Pasadena, California. Thank you, Jesus. It was delivered tonight. So, my piece was sitting in Dion's driveway. Oh, 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 oh. I don't know why that makes me amazing. That's not amazing, really. <laughs> It just means I use your shipper. <laughs> do uh, several lives on this earlier. I was applying these painterly roses. They're IOD stamps. And I start out by blending from the bottom Hey Sailor and all the things. Sometimes when the wood isn't the right color that I want, I won't distress it as much. This piece had some that was dark, but up here at the top, it got to that orangey light stuff. So just today, I actually put on Dark and Decrepit because it's also a stain. Hello, my Dark and Decrepit. By DIY Paint, which I am a retailer of. <laughs> uh, DIY. 
This um, Dark and Decrepit is, it can be used as a stain over raw wood. I mean, mostly you'll see us using it like over a, a sealed surface to like a sort of like a dark wax that, you know, adds age to it, some patina. But you can also put it on just directly on wood and hello, it's a stain, only it's water-based. You can wash off with soap and water, but once it sets up, then of course it's sealed. It's a sealer as well. So that's sealed on there. So now my wood is nice, a nice rich brown and I am so thrilled. I can't believe I didn't think of that before. Didn't think of it. Didn't even think of it. I have other news, but I can't share it right now. It's making me crazy. I'm going to add a little bit of blues because can you see how there's a blue to this? It's a very sea, oh, I don't know what to call it. I mixed the paints, I think. I blended them on here. DIY doesn't have a color that's just this. Um, what would the lightest to be close to? Not mint chip, that's a little greener. Um, oh, I can't think right now, my poor brain. My brain is taxed. Hazels. Hazels is sending a t-shirt. Oh wait, maybe I should, maybe it's a surprise, I don't know. Never mind, in case it is, I'm gonna, I'm gonna not say it, I don't know. They're the ones that make my She Paints shirts, my Janky Fabulous. They are their sisters, and it's just adorable. They have, um, their, it's their grandma, right? Their grandma's name is Hazel, was Hazel. And that is where they got their name, and it is the most precious thing. I love it so much. It's like the best built-in, like, business name you could ever, <laughs> I've ever heard. Distracted. Oh, I started to say earlier, I would love if y'all would share this video. This makes me feel like I'm painting a canvas. It is a canvas, paint art on, sort of filling in the unevenness. And there's that painterly rosebud. Love it. All right, now I'm shifting to musicals. Okay, Broadway musicals. There's a musical out called Waitress. It's been out for quite a while. <laughs> I'm gonna take this out. Um, the whole score is written by Sarah Bareilles, who is, I mean, she's a phenomenal singer, but she's also um, a phenomenal songwriter. It's incredible. Marnie. I'm dying for you guys to hear the music from this musical. I know that most of you won't like, it's not like you have time to go, oh, I'll go listen to that right now. Everybody, every mom, uh, it's a little bit. I think you're singing about the woman you used to be. Ooh, it's deep. Hold on a second. All the waitress. So there's a lot of references to um, pies and such, and that's why. Anybody see what I did with my clippy? But I just did a lot of painting and a lot of talking and storytelling, and I wanted to share this song. For the mamas, or not just mamas, just grown women. Um, I can't think what key to say. Um, start in. It's not simple to say that most days I don't recognize me. That these shoes and this apron, this place and its patrons have taken more than I gave them. It's not easy to know. I'm not, not, <laughs> see that's what I was talking about, that's what happens. It's not easy to know, although it's true. I was never attention sweet center. Okay, I still remember that girl. She's imperfect, but she tries. She is good, but she lies. She is hard on herself. She is broken and won't ask for help. She is messy, but she's kind. She is lonely, most of the time she's all of this mixed up and baked in a beautiful pie. She is gone, but she used to be mine. Okay, that's going to be too high. I need to lower that. It's not supposed to be about um, having a baby that she was not planning on. Um, it's not what I asked for. Sometimes life just slips in through a back door. I can't think how that line goes. And now I've got you, and you're not what I asked for. If I'm honest, I know I would give it all back for a chance to start over and rewrite an ending or two for the girl that I knew who'll be reckless just enough who'll get hurt, but who'll learn how to toughen up when she's bruised and gets used by a man who can't love. And then she'll get stuck 
and be scared of the life that's inside her, growing stronger each day, till it finally reminds her to fight just a little, to bring back the fire in her eyes that's been gone but used to be Right? I mean, that's just, it's songwriting. It's amazing. That, I want to share that with y'all. Um, I say we do a, a waitress for the hearts, guys. I'm going to let you guys go. If you want to, um, I mean, let me know in the comments if you want me to sing more of those waitress songs. I would like to, because they're so good. There's a beautiful duet that I would want to sing a duet. and uh, Mikey is too shy to sing on the, on the cameras. But, uh... Landon would. I don't know if he'd sing the duet with me because, you know, that'd be a little weird. Being 21 and singing a love duet with your mom. Thanks for watching, you guys. I feel, I feel like this was really long, but <laughs> there's a lot of stuff going on in it, so I'm exhausted. Thank you, guys. I love you. Thank you for watching, and um, I'll be on again sometime. Thanks.